Hey, hon. I was out shopping and found these. What's that? I spotted these two dresses, and I can't decide between them. Red or blue. Which one do you think looks better on me? You messaged me just for this? Yep. I'm genuinely confused, so I wanted your input. Neither really stands out for me. Does color matter? If it doesn't matter, why would I ask for your opinion? Or do you mean I should go for both colors? Aw, I love you, dear. That's not what I meant. I'd suggest picking one randomly, not buying both. Why spend so much money on this stuff? I'll use my own money, okay? I don't think a dress is the right choice. Why's that? It's not suitable anymore. I tried one on, and it suits me well. Everyone at the store complimented me. It's a tactic used by clothing salespeople to lure customers. They have to compliment you so you'll buy the dress. Even if it's bad, they'll still praise it. What are you trying to say? Are you implying I look bad in the dress? I didn't say that. So why did you buy it? Didn't you mention we're meeting your friends at the cafe later? Are you serious? We're just grabbing coffee, not going to a party. You're overdoing it. So what? I want to look good so you won't be embarrassed. But it's not necessary. Take a look at you. You're a married woman. Are you dressing up for others to admire, or are you trying to impress my friends? No! Why would you think that? I want to look nice for myself, and partly for you. Knock it off. I don't need you to look good for me. I'd prefer it if you saved us some money. Why are you getting mad at me? I bought these clothes with my own cash, and you're grumbling and getting upset. You haven't given me a single compliment since we got married. Compliments? Can compliments pay the bills? Not a chance. Nowadays, you need money to get by. Other guys take their wives shopping regularly. And I only have two dresses. I keep wearing them over and over. And they're even worn out. You're being demanding again. Who are you trying to mimic? Are you going to coffee or not? If you'd rather stay home and go shopping, then I'll go by myself. What? Why are you saying that to me? I don't need to know. Hurry up, we're all meeting at the cafe at 3 p.m. Fine. Got it. Oh, by the way, Mark. What else? Should I hire a makeup artist? Dressing up to look good when I meet your friends makes you feel proud. That's enough. You stay home. I'm heading out. Do whatever you want. Wait! I was just kidding! I'm on my way home now. Let's go together. Hurry up! Layla, what's with that attitude? What's wrong with my attitude? What's going on with you? Why did you leave while we were with my friends? So, you'd prefer me to just sit there and watch you having a great time with another girl? Do I have to yell at them or be rude? Do I need to insult them? Then why did you treat me that way? Huh? What are you talking about? Have I ever been rude to you? The speaker might forget, but the listener never does. At home, you're often irritable and impolite to your wife. Yet when you go out, you're charming and courteous to others. Have you ever thought about your actions? So, what do you want? Do you expect me to be sweet and kind every day? In all the time I've been your wife, you've never really been tender with me. I always do my best to take care of you and our family. I wake up early every morning to prepare your breakfast before work. I even iron your clothes so they're always neat and tidy. But have you ever thought about me? Why are you going on and on today? That's just how I am. Can't handle it? You'll have to deal with it. What's going on with you? How can you say that? I haven't even mentioned how you and Lily chat so intimately. You and her have these happy conversations right in front of your wife. What? Lily just got back from studying abroad. We haven't been in touch for a while, so we were catching up on each other's lives. You're reading too much into it. Just catching up? 
You and her were exchanging compliments and reminiscing about old times. Why even ask her if she has a husband or a boyfriend? I was just curious. You even let her hug and touch you. And then you joined in when she was criticizing me. Do you think so little of me? You're misunderstanding. We weren't saying anything negative about you. We were just sharing opinions. Opinions? Lily told me to dress casually, wear old clothes, and look like an old woman. That's criticism. You even chimed in and agreed with her. You said I didn't need to dress up at all. Then you praise another girl and criticize your wife. Is that an acceptable way to behave? But Lily has a point. I think she's right, so I agreed. I also think you've been looking too much like a housewife. Compared to you, Lily just came back from studying abroad and she looks beautiful and charming. There's nothing wrong with learning from her beauty experience. How can you say that to your wife? If I try to dress up and look nice, you will worry about spending money. I listen to you and wear older clothes, and then you criticize me and another girl. You're acting like a jerk. Lily and I were just trying to offer you constructive feedback to help you improve. Not only were you ungrateful and unreceptive, you left abruptly, causing me to be embarrassed in front of my friends. That's it! You never listen to me. Why are you getting so upset all of a sudden? We're just friends. You're suddenly jealous and get mad. I'm done talking to you. But I'm not done talking yet. Let's talk later. I'm busy right now. Mark? Mark, where are you right now? I'm about to head into a meeting. What's up? I have something to talk to you about. When will you be home? What's going on? I'll be home late tonight. Just tell me now. Fine then. You texted Lily, right? What? How did you find out about that? Well, it was on your phone. What? You went through my phone? How could you? What? I'm your wife. That's my privacy. Don't you know how to respect your husband's privacy? I forbid you from snooping on my phone. What? You forbid me? Are you trying to hide something from me? Are you doubting me? I just value my privacy. Have I given you a reason not to trust me? I saw you texting Lily, and you've been spending time with her. Just the two of you. So what? Lily and I are friends, and we haven't seen each other in a while. We text normally. Normal conversation? What do you say? Your messages seem a lot more than just friends. Well, Lily and I are really close. I consider her like a sister. You and she even went shopping, bought clothes, and had meals together. What's that all about? Why are you taking girls out when you have a wife? Lily just came back from studying abroad. A lot has changed for her, so I took her around to get her acclimated. She doesn't have any family to do that for her? You have to be the one? Lily's family is all very busy, so there's no one available to take her out. So, you're her only friend? It's not like that, but her friends are all swamped with work. Right. It's a Tuesday. You're supposed to be at work too, right? Well, I have the day off today. A day off? Why didn't you tell me? You left for work like any other day this morning. I forgot that I had a day off, so I went to work as usual. Don't overthink it. How can I not overthink it when you're lying to me? Your co-workers have already gone home from work. One of their wives just spoke to me. Why did you lie to me? Well, because of you. Because you're like this. You always overthink things. And then, you start doubting and questioning me. I thought you'd overthink this too, so I didn't say anything. Do you think I'm a fool, Mark? You and Lily exchange texts, and you two even call each other daddy and baby. I've had enough of you two. You two are disgusting. It's just a joke. We used to call each other that way in the past. It means nothing. Do friends tease each other like that? What's wrong with you? Are you doubting me now? 
You don't believe me, do you? How can I not doubt you when you act like this? I'm telling you, you're going too far. I told you, we're just friends. Whether you believe that or not is up to you. Why are you being so irresponsible with your words? I'm your wife, so of course I'm going to be concerned about your actions. I don't need it. You're meddling too much in my life. I work hard all day to make money to support you. You don't appreciate me, but you judge and doubt me? What? You're the one who told me not to go to work and just stay home. That was a while ago, but things are different now. You're just leeching off me, that's it. How can you say that? I may be at home, but I manage all the household chores. I prepare your meals, keep the house clean, always make sure there are enough groceries, and I even buy you new clothes. Sometimes I take on online jobs to bring in extra income. How much do those online jobs even make? Have they done anything to help this household? I'm trying to help. Why are you dismissing all my efforts like this? So what? I'm the main breadwinner in this family. I'm the one providing for and supporting this family. You stay at home, handle the housework, and rely on me. Without me, how would you even survive? I can manage just fine on my own. Do you think I'm doing nothing just because I'm at home handling housework? Do you think that being a housewife means I'm completely useless? Honestly, I don't think you could even find a job. You don't know anything. I doubt you'd even be able to land a job. You should stop being a freeloader and stay out of my business, you parasite. You jerk! I can't believe you think that way. Fine, from now on, you do your thing and I'll do mine. We won't interfere in each other's lives. Deal? Fine. If that's what you want, I'll follow through. No matter what I do, don't stick your nose in my business. All right. Layla, where's my breakfast? What breakfast? Make it yourself. Are you still upset about that argument? What argument are you referring to? It's in the past, and we've agreed not to meddle in each other's business. You haven't prepared breakfast for me in weeks. Where have you been heading off to so early? I've got a job now. Why didn't you tell me? It's not your concern. Very well. I won't be eating dinner at home tonight. I'm going out with some co-workers. Sure thing. There will be female colleagues too. That's perfectly fine. Are you okay with that? I'm also inviting Lily to join us. Okay, have a good time. After that, we might go for a walk together. Be safe. What's gotten into you? What do you mean? Why have you changed so suddenly? Your attitude shifted rapidly. Isn't this what you wanted? I'm just following your lead. It was so sudden that I couldn't adjust in time. Slow down. You're quite confusing, Mark. Anyway, I have to get to work. Wait, Layla! Layla. Where are you headed? I'm going out with a friend. Where to? With who? Why are you so dressed up? Why the interrogation? Just answer me. Max. Max who? Maximilian. The handsome guy from our high school? Yep, that's him. What? How did you reconnect with him? Funny story. Max is my new colleague now. I haven't seen him in years. And he's grown taller, gotten a six-pack, and looks even better. Not to mention, he's my boss. He asked me out, and I agreed. What in the world? Why are you talking about another man like this? What's the big deal? We're just friends and co-workers. Because he used to like you. So what? I never had feelings for him. We're just catching up. He's taking you out? Don't you have a husband? Friends who haven't seen each other in a while often catch up over a meal. It's normal. Plus, Max mentioned a famous restaurant with delicious lobster ravioli. What are you saying? Why let another guy take you out? You never do that. 
So I'm going out with friends without bothering you. I don't mind, but isn't that red dress a bit too revealing? Why are you dressing so provocatively? It's a lovely dress, isn't it? I bought it with my own money, so you don't have to worry. Are you planning to seduce him? How come I never see you dressed like that when you're with me? I've avoided dressing like this because you've told me it's not your preference and a waste of time. But now, I don't need to consider your feelings, so I wear what I like. No way! You can only wear that when you're with me. By what right do you get to dictate what I wear? I'm your husband! So when you were out with Lily, you didn't remember you were already married? She's my best friend, and I was just showing her around. Well, Max is both a friend, a colleague, and my boss. We're just going out to eat and hang out. But he's a man. You don't know what's on their minds when they go out with girls. We're just friends, nothing more. Don't overthink it. There's no such thing as a purely platonic friendship between a man and a woman. <laughs> so what about you and Lily? You don't have a dirty mind when you're with her. No! I consider Lily like a sister. I don't care if you two are close. What? You're not bothered if your husband is intimate with someone else? Nope. I'm not concerned. We had an agreement that we wouldn't interfere in each other's affairs, remember? So if I don't mind, neither should you. No way. I'm not finished, Layla. Okay, if that's the way you want to live, don't blame me for being ruthless. Layla, where are you? It's late. Why aren't you home yet? Home? What home? What do you mean? Oh, I didn't mention it. I've sold the house. You should start packing your things. What are you talking about? Are you joking? I'm not joking. The house is sold, and they've already put down a deposit. This has to be a joke. I'm serious. Where are all your clothes and belongings? Are you for real? Absolutely. Thanks to the fact that the house was in my name, selling it was easy. It's my parents' house, after all. You don't make enough money to buy a house. But even so, we should have discussed it. I'm your husband. Why should I? Remember when your mother wanted to sell her house? You sold it without even consulting me. Fortunately, I'm the legal owner, so my signature was needed to sell it. That time it was an emergency. My mom needed money urgently to resolve an issue, so I sold it quickly. An emergency? Do you forget the reason? Your mom needed money because your father lost everything due to gambling. Well, my family was in a crisis, so I had to help. Are you saying I should have neglected my family? I didn't say that. But when you sold the house, you said you didn't need to consider my opinion. You made the decision alone. So why should I ask for your opinion now when I'm the owner? It was a critical situation back then. And why are you selling the house now? It's urgent. I need the money. What do you need money for? Why do I have to explain myself to you? We're on the brink of divorce. What? Who's getting a divorce? We are. I've got the divorce papers ready. Sign them. What? But why? You truly don't understand your own actions? I genuinely don't. I've treated you well, so why do you want a divorce? You treated me well? <laughs> do you genuinely think that? I've taken you out, we've gone shopping, and I've tried to fulfill your wishes. In the two years we've been married, is that all you've done for me? And you only did these recently. Have you genuinely treated me well? I'm trying to change and be a better husband. You did all of that for me. Or was it because you notice I've become beautiful, independent, and attractive? Do you feel guilty for what you've done? It's true that I've made mistakes and hurt you. I regret it and just want to treat you better because I don't want to lose you. Aw, how sweet. I might have fallen for that if I were still the old me. But you lied to me, Mark. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. 
You're only scared of losing me. Now that I've become more independent and appealing with other men around, your jealousy has taken over. You've got nothing to hold me but the label of husband and wife. We agreed not to meddle in each other's lives, so treating me well is the only card you can play. I earn my money, prepare my meals, go out, shop, and love myself. I can handle everything on my own. So what do I need you for? You're right. I've hurt you recently, and I understand how important you are to me. I need you. Please, don't leave me. I can't live without you. You're a good actor, too. But you had an affair with Lily. Don't lie to me. What? That's not true. Don't deny it, because I know everything. I found out the day you took time off work to be with Lily. How did you find out? Silly Lily texted me to brag about stealing you from me. Even if she hadn't told me, I would have figured it out, so it wasn't a huge surprise. It's not what it seems like, Layla. So what? Are you expecting me to forgive you? Cheaters don't deserve forgiveness. I get that you might not want to forgive me, and you can be angry or even hit me if you want. But don't leave me, Layla. I'm begging you. You're putting on that apologetic act again. You're begging because if I leave you, you'll have nowhere to go. Returning to your mother's house is no better than due to your father's gambling addiction. You can't ask Lily for help because you dumped her to make amends with me. It's not that, Layla. I'm begging you because I genuinely love you. I need you. Wasn't it because you were just fired for having an affair with your boss's wife? You have no income, so you expect to live off of me. How do you know all this? Well, I mean, that's not entirely accurate. No need to deny it. Remember, my neighbor's husband also works at your company, so I hear all your office gossip. You're only clinging to me now because you have nowhere to stay and no money to spend if I leave. Please, I've treated you well. Can you help me out? You've got some nerve. You had multiple affairs with other women. And you've been disrespectful, always critical, and nagging your wife as a husband. You've treated me poorly, not well at all. Your attempts at making amends are just to ease your guilt. It's not like that. I genuinely regret everything. I promise to change. Please, give me a chance. Before you married me, you promised to love only me, never have an affair, never betray me, and always treat me well. You said there would be consequences if you didn't keep your word. Well, now those consequences are here. It's time to face reality. No, wait, Layla, I can change. Please, give me a chance to prove myself. I promise. Your promises are empty now. Goodbye. Mark then tries to ask Lily for forgiveness and receives a slap and a lot of curses in return. He had quite the audacity when he asked his former boss for forgiveness and begged for his job back. Fortunately for Mark, his boss didn't resort to physical violence. Instead, he issued a stern warning and chased Mark away. Now, Mark is left with neither a home nor a job, but he would rather work as a beggar than return to his family, as he knows it's pointless since his family is also in debt. Mark's affair with his boss's wife was publicly exposed by a vindictive colleague and posted online, making it challenging for Mark to secure a job or maintain social connections. Surprisingly, it turned out that the co-worker who despised Mark was the husband of my neighbor with whom I often chatted. I can't help but feel a bit sorry for him. It's true that you reap what you sow. As for me, I purchased a new house and am living a content single life. While Max treated me very well and constantly offered to take care of me, I wasn't ready to love someone else, so I turned him down. Max told me he'd be patient and wait until I agreed to be with him. I'm unsure if I can trust a man's words anymore, but let's see in five years or even 10 years, whether he can keep his word. Time will reveal the truth.